Mr. Graham, home workout. You get home workout. Let's go. Man, here we are, another exciting week of homework. Let's get started with our, our first homework of the week. You should be on page 168. Here we go. <clears throat> Looks like a lot, but watch how fast we go through it. Uh, one serving of crackers is three-tenths of the whole box of crackers. You can see that in the drawing uh, down here. Uh, Bella ate three servings last week. What fraction of the box of crackers did she eat? Oh my god, this is so easy! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, <laughs> right away I just want to go, oh this is easy! One, two, three, three parts are shaded. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten parts total, three tenths is the answer, thank you! Oh. Oh wait, I'm wrong. Yep, yep, that's what happens when you rush into things. Because they didn't ask you, um, they didn't ask you what one serving is. See, it says one serving of crackers is three tenths. They asked you, they told you, Bella ate three servings. So what fraction did she eat? This is not a picture of what she ate. It's not. This is just a picture of what one serving is. She ate three of these. She ate three of this picture. So that's like three tenths times three. Ah! Ah ha ha ha! Now we'll get a right answer. What's three times three? Three times three is nine. Nine what? Nine tenths. Ah! So be careful. Be careful, I'll just rush to the end. Some of you guys just love to rush to the end and you think you see an answer, you write down what you think, but it's not the answer because you didn't read carefully. You have to read right there. What do they want? Bella ate three servings. That is one serving. So you gotta take the three tens, which is one serving, and multiply it by three, and then you get the right answer. Don't fall into the trap. Don't fall into the trap. Let's answer all these little bits and pieces down here. What fraction of the box, we're right there, is one serving? Well, that's easy. It says right there, one serving. One serving is three tenths. How many servings did Bella eat? Well, it says so in the question. It says that she ate three servings. Did Bella eat more or less than three tenths of the box of crackers? Well, we did the math already. We did the math uh, right here. And we got nine tenths. So is nine tenths more or less than three tenths? Well, nine tenths is bigger. It's it's more. What operation can you use to solve the problem? Don't let the word operation fool you or scare you. That just means what kind of math. What did we do? Well, uh, look up here. We multiplied. Oh, that's the answer. <laughs> okay, we multiply. Or in other words, multiplication. There you go. Uh, if Bella ate two servings, you could multiply three by two to find the fraction of the box of crackers she ate. What is two times three tenths? Well, all right, that's not so hard. Two times three is what? Come on, that's one of the most easy uh, times tables I can think of, two times three. Two times three is six, but not just six by itself, six what? Look at the fraction, six tenths. Explain how you could find the fraction of the box of crackers Bella did eat. Well, all we have to do is say what we did um, right there. We multiply, multiply, uh, three tenths times three. Not so hard, guys. <clears throat> uh, describe a real situation. This, I think, might be on the next page. So, oh yeah, it's on page 169. I uh, even put a little thing there. All right. Uh, describe a real situation when you might want to multiply fractions. A real situation. Okay. How about when we need to figure out how many slices of pizza there are... Uh, 
we might eat, or they're going to, if, if we're going to have enough slices of pizza. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, um, or you know what? Forget that. Pizza's overused. Pizza's played out. I changed my mind. I don't want to use pizza anymore. Let's, let's do uh, some fun. Let's talk about um, making a, 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 a potion. Like if we, were, if we were wizards or something. Yeah. Okay, that's more fun. So, oh, no, we can't have fun. Because look, darn it, it says real situation. I don't want to imagine a real situation. I want to imagine the pretend. All right, not potions. Let's just pretend we're cooking. Sorry. I wanted to be crazy with it, but they say real. Fine. Let's pretend um, we need to measure. We need to measure. Um, how much? Uh, how much? I don't know. Milk to put in a recipe. 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 Did I spell that right? I don't really know, actually. Recipe. Okay, we need to measure how much milk to put in a recipe. So like, you know, you would use these measuring cups and we can draw. Drawing always helps explain, the, explain your answer. It's never a bad thing to draw in math if you have the time for it. And we could say, hey, we, got, uh, we, need, to, we need to put uh, three, three half cups. Right? So that's like three times one half. And you would fill them all up halfway. And you know, I know that's green and milk isn't usually green. And if your milk is green, don't eat it. Don't eat it. That's a bad idea. But you could have these, these measuring cups full of milk. And you need three half cups for your recipe. And you just do three times one half, three straight across. That's going to be three times one is three with the half on the bottom. Hooray for us. Another way to say that though is uh, one and a half cups. That's only if you're thinking, if, you, if, if, if you're the kind of student who right away sees, ah, I can change this into a mixed number. If you can do that, you know, go ahead and show off. If, if you can't, don't worry. Uh, three halves is, is, is better than nothing. So yeah, a real situation is like when you want, I need to measure how much milk you need to put into a recipe. I was gonna say how much magic potion we needed to turn invisible, you know, or something fun like that. But it's, it's basically the same thing. You know, milk and invisibility potion. Yeah, those are the same. All right, guys, I think that's all the homework we have for today. Let me just double check. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Uh, easy homework to start with. Uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.